Hi there, this is Hans from Excel My Business. I'm going to take you through how to add a driver to your database. First thing you're going to do once you open the main screen is to click on the big plus sign and then accept this message. After a few seconds, the main screen will open up for this particular driver that you're going to add. The important thing is to complete these two sections the driver um, name and uh, license de details as much as you can really. Um, it's important that uh, these two sections are completed otherwise the information won't be saved. So as you complete the name details using either the drop down section or over typing this will just give you the basic details for this driver. The next stage after that is to complete the uh, driving license section and you'll notice the save button is still greyed out and this will become available after you've entered these two sections so the full details around the name and then the driving license number. Now we're going to go on completing this particular section um, with just with some random data just to show you how it all pans out and to show you some of the flags that occur. If you're completing something that is valid it will turn green, if not it will turn red. Two different shades of red. A light red means that the information is either out of date or acquired and a dark solid red means that that driver shouldn't really be authorised to drive because you have no access to that valid information. And so we're just going to go on and complete some of this uh, some of this data going forward leaving some of it red just so that you understand the the colors associated with completing the database so i'm just going to continue down this particular section filling in these boxes just so that you can see the different colors that uh, appear uh, based on the input. So remember that uh, dark red means we don't have the information and it could be invalid and sort of light red means uh, the information could be out of date. And that we only really need to complete uh, the driver information section and the driving license section in order to save this information. But of course you can continue to complete the rest of this sheet. So there we go. Once the last bit is inf of information is, is inputted, we can now save that driver's details by clicking this button up here. And the system will go through the process. So accept these messages if you're happy to continue. And the system will go through the save process, which takes about 10 seconds or so. Once you click OK, you're taken back to the database and that particular dry driver is highlighted in two places. Down the bottom here, because there were some dark red pieces of information on his section, uh, it shows him as being not authorised to drive. So you can click on his name and it'll take you back to that section. And then clicking on the database icon, you just go through the process again to take you back to the main screen. There's also the facility here to check any missing data for all the drivers. So clicking on that icon gives you a list of the drivers that have missing critical information. Green being that you've captured the information, whether it be invalid or not, you still captured it. And the red sections mean that uh, it's, it's missing from the database. I hope this tutorial was useful to get you up and running with your first inputs into the database.